so this one was a, uh, a medical case, maybe a malpractice case. What can you tell me right. about this one? In this particular instance, the, the woman had an arterial venous malformation in the head and the treatment, they actually inject what is chemically the same substance that we know as superglue. And in this particular instance, the physician was not terribly experienced with the uh, procedure. And he's got a syringe that he's pushing the, uh, the plunger to inject the glue and nothing's coming out. What had happened was the catheter had burst near the base of the skull and this super glue was infiltrating the uh, vasculature of the brain. And, uh, and as you can imagine, all hell broke loose. There were just massive, uh, uh, massive series of strokes, infarctions. So one of the critical elements of the case was how much glue actually ended up in the, uh, in the skull. Well, so what we did to try to accurately determine how much glue was in the brain and also show where it was, we took a series of uh, radiology CAT scans and we developed a filter where we got the opacity of the glue. And so we took slice after slice after slice after slice. And we then we stacked all of these slices up and then we extracted the opaque or the uh, the glue opacity and then converted it into a three-dimensional volume which is what you see so the exterior of the skull here that's the three-dimensional uh volume from the radiology which if those of you worked in medical cases it's becoming more common where you can extract three-dimensional models of uh of uh of, of bony structures relatively easy but what was not extractable until we did our process was the glue. And as you can see, uh, it's just widely, wildly and widely dispersed. And so this